<laughs> All right, so I have some awesome news. I got my shipping label for my Apaka bag for this cooking box, and I've been pretty excited about what's going to be in there. I'm not sure, but I'm excited for it. I just pulled into my driveway, and it looks like that might be what's on the front porch. So we're going to check out this Apaka bag, and then, and then we're going to see what's in there. And my plan is to go take a trip and use some of the stuff that's in the bag. So hopefully you guys are excited as I am. If you're a pocket box subscriber, but I'm looking forward to this cooking bag. You know, this, this could be a totally awesome item. So let's go check it out and see if that's what it is. What is that? Oh, for sure. Look at that. A pocket bag. It's a little roughed up. Oh, that's kind of what I thought. That's, that's heavy. That's substantial. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. So we got our pocket bag here, special edition. Sounds pretty heavy. Spoiler alert, if you didn't get your bag yet and you don't want to know what's in here, I wouldn't watch this video quite yet, but I probably won't post it until at least a week after this bag goes out. But uh, let us see what is inside. So uh, first of all, thank you, Creek, for managing expectations and uh, letting us know that it would be a bag so i actually predicted an item i think is in here and i see what this other one is too and uh, but i've been wrong before so let's see it out let's pull the pack list out there we go okay so here's our pack list we got a let's uh, let's pull the stuff out first that's more fun Ooh, good good i like the skills challenge already uh, so we got chicory root coffee. There we are. I'll try that for sure. That's kind of fun. I always like when he tosses something like that in there. So this is going to be a cooking uh, griddle here. Oh, good. I like these little bags that things come in. I use this for a lot of stuff in uh, some of my other kits. So what do we got here? We got a block of wood. This is going to be for the challenge. It looks like I see here on the back, there is uh, a cooking challenge. So I'm sad to say, I have to look up and see what the heck this thing is. Looks like a whiskey scoop is my guess. And there we go. Where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? So anyways, here's the scoop, got the cover off here and this should be an effective tool for carving, which this month's theme is going to be carving a spoon, so I'm sure we'll be using that to get the job done. And I look forward to that. And, uh, you know, I don't know if this is something I would carry in, like, my backpacking gear, but I can see how it would be useful in the sense of holding on to it. The one downside I can see is that it looks like it's got a little rust it's kind of sitting in there where maybe there was some moisture, but I can clean that up no problem. A little oil and it'll be just fine. But... I like that they got this extra little tool on there to give you the extra little oomph that you need. Cool beans. All right. I see why they upgraded this. But the two handles on there, if they were removable, making sure they're not removable, that'd be even better. But uh, I can definitely hang this in my garage and take this car camping with me or Put it over a couple of logs and we'll be able to cook on that. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. So I'll take it. So I'll take it. What else we got in here? All right. This looks like a little uh, sack. I bet you that uh, that grill fits in there possibly. Maybe not. Oh, just in a pocket dry bag. So dry goods bag, keeping your food in. I like that you can see through that. Actually, I really like that. And uh, boom, you know. And that's one thing, at least when I'm backpacking, and I know that this is for more than just backpacking, but when I'm backpacking, you gotta have a bear bag, especially a lot of the times in northern Michigan, and and uh, this will work just perfect for that. And it's got a pocket, pocket dry. I love that. I like this way better than the uh, bags that came in with our uh, last box, the water box. So that's pretty legit. Love that. What have we got here? Huh. Lots of little rods. Chain and a holder. I think this, this is actually pretty sweet if this is what I think it is. I think this is a assemble your own tripod. 
which is pretty darn light. You can see the connectors here and a chain. So I think that's everything that's in the bag. Some neat stuff. Let's see if that's what that is here. Let's see. So we got the coffee. Yeah, a Campcraft breakdown tripod. That thing is actually pretty darn cool. I think I like that the best. Truthfully, I really like that. Uh, stainless pack grill. No camp cook kit is complete without a durable compact pack grill. Functional, the functionality of this piece of cooking kit is only appreciated by those who have struggled to grill over the open flame using improvised or inferior methods. This grill is custom made for a pocket box and is designed to last a lifetime of hard use. It fills a void in urban survival, which makes more sense, wilderness survival, and recreational camping and hiking. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, I originally grilled it to be 12 by 12, which, I, and again, I, I don't know if they added the handle, but the 12 by 12 grill, honestly, I think that I'd prefer to just have that more than the grill with these handles. Now, I see where a lot of people are going to get some good use out of this, but I like it. My buddy actually just kind of made me one similar to it, a little smaller, plus I just bought a, a recent uh, back, uh, bushcrafting uh, grill as well, but this at least will get used and uh, I dig that. But let's set up this tripod. There we go. One. Two. Three. There we go. So here's our three uh, double sections, two connectors built in, and then just some feet at the bottom. And then here is our tripod. And let's see here. Obviously, this is going to go in this direction. So let's screw those in. One. Two. Three. So I've already seen some of the reviews on uh, the Apocabox Bunker. Facebook page and people were like, oh yeah, I'm so glad that this item was upgraded and they're talking about the grill over there with the handles. But I gotta tell you, maybe it's just because I'm a giant nerd, but I think that is awesome. It's like a three foot tall tripod. Not that y'all wanna see my kitchen, but it is clean. I cleaned it yesterday. But that's awesome. That's awesome. Let's put it on the floor. I dig that. I think that is the coolest and it definitely is compact. So I think that's going to be the thing is I'm going to take some of this gear out and use it. I think it's definitely going to be that tripod. It's definitely going to be this uh, whiskey scoop and uh, we'll carve some more spoons and uh, some of my other, one of my other videos anyways, I made a spatula and a spoon. I didn't really show it. I just started using them and uh, just thinking about it makes me hungry for some food cooked over the fire, but that's awesome. And, uh, I'm looking forward to this. Maybe I'll get this carved up and uh, enter it in for my my skills challenge and uh, post it on the pocket box bumper site or bunker site. And uh, cool. This is actually a really fun pocket box. I love when I get stuff. I'm totally going to use, and I am totally going to use that tripod probably quite a bit. I'm going to use this uh, dry bag quite a bit. I use the coffee because it's fun. I'm going to use the scoop because I've been getting into carving a little bit more. And then this, I'm not going to take this camping with me all the time, but I will use this. And so everything here is something I can use. I'll use it more than once. It's not going to go on the shelf and collect dust. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this box and uh, one of the best ones that I've received. So I, I'm such a nerd. I think that is the coolest little tripod. So, uh, all right, well, I'll see you out there in the field. All right, so I said I was gonna test out that Apoca box, the uh, cooking epoxy box. I'm excited to use it, so the first piece of gear I'm gonna use, bam, it's while I'm packing. It's the dry bag that came with it. I like this one a lot better than the other ones. Not that I didn't use them, I just like this better, but packing food for a trip, boom. Some biscuits, some oatmeal for me and my buddy. There we go, I think I'm gonna take some hot cocoa. There we are, and I, uh, I'm going to take cast iron. It's not a backpacking trip. It makes some, makes some cobbler. There we go. And let's see if that goes in there too. There we go. Boom. My stuff's packed. Plenty of room in there for more stuff right in here. Spices, seasonings, all that good stuff uh, if I needed to. But 
Boom, drive bag, check, using it. All right, whip this tripod together for some hot cocoa later. Pretend you got them from over there. All right, here we go. So this is the tripod that came in the pocket box. Yeah. Thread that one in there. I bet you when you're done with the cuts, you could probably go with the go chop and you could probably put that in your pants. Over a cup of yeah. There we go. And I got the modified water bottle. There we go. I'm sure that if you were surviving. Choose the life. I'm sure that if you were surviving, rattlesnake would be the best thing Ta da! Love it. I'm sorry, but I dig that. I think that tripod's sweet. Mm. Food from a dry bag. We are using a grill today. Oh yeah. And then we'll heat up some hot water. You do not want any cream fresh. All right. Let's see about this uh, spoon challenge. Here we go. Scooping right out now. It's doing good. <laughs> so as I'm rounding out the edges, it's going pretty well. And then just to keep getting deeper, I just get in there and give a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and then it gives me my area to trim off. And I just go and trim it out. It's going well. I'll show you the final product. I did forget to mention this lovely Kydex sheath to keep our fingers safe. When you speed on speed when it's dark, I got light. Well, if nothing else, at least we're making a nice little feather stick on the edge. <laughs> We interrupt this knife carving for delicious s'mores. That's I right. I need a s'more. F and D outdoors, freaking delicacies. Ha! <laughs> So I'm trimming this up. I'm getting there. I'm getting to a shape that I like. But I just feel like I can go a little deeper in there. So it's doing well. First I was a little skeptical when I received this. Like, man, I just don't know what it's going to be awesome for. But the truth of it is, this is absolutely, this whiskey scoop, making the best and most functional spoon I've ever carved. Now I've carved some shallow little shovels to eat food with before and spatulas and 
things like that. But this is really going to be like a little thing you could really have a little, you know, stew and actually get some broth with. That's cool. Okay, I made that a little deeper, a little wider. So I think I'll finish on touching it up. I'm not a woodsmith, I'm just looking for something functional here, but also something a little less clunky. But overall, that would work right now as is. Nice. All right, I'm gonna take it in and try to finish it on some sandpaper. Okay, <coughs> I'm good. All right. Here's my final product for the skills challenge. Pretty satisfied with it all. And uh, I'm gonna sand in there a little more. But uh, good enough for this. The last thing I'm gonna do is sand this out just one little tad more. Give it a little coat of walnut oil, but I am pretty pleased with it. This is, uh, like I said, probably the best spoon that I've carved yet. Let me show you some of the other ones. And here's an old spoon that I carved, but I literally did this, you know, I was camping. You know, I literally just made this to eat with real quick. And so it was a little paddle at work and it fed me, but I mean, like this, that's gonna get a coat, you know, a coat of walnut oil. And again, it's not gonna look perfect, but it's gonna look really nice. And here's a spatula that I carved out. <coughs> you know, again, just something really rough to cook with. I think maybe now I will go and sand these this down and, and maybe give it a coconut uh, coat of, excuse me a coat of that walnut oil as well and I mean this could be a good looking one it's got a little pot hook on there too but uh, no the whiskey scoop definitely elevated my carving game so overall awesome apocalypse box sorry this video took uh, I don't know three weeks to get out but I've been busy and hey we didn't want to play spoiler so thanks for watching F and D outdoors. Um, I was really excited about this box and it's everything I was hoping it was. Don't know if I'll review the rest. This one's just one that I was really anticipating. So, uh, but check out my other videos and subscribe now. And uh, thanks again. Having a great day.